Hello everyone, Captain Airwolf here. Just wanted to make a quick little video to give you guys a progress update on Project Airwolf and talk a little bit about the things that I've been working on since the last video I made. So, uh, the first thing you guys might notice is the fact that now the rotors are no longer just straight. They actually sag down a little bit under the force of gravity. So that's been added in. Uh, they also cone upwards when you apply a collective at high RPM. So uh, I'll show that a little bit later uh, when we fly it. And I've also uh, remodeled and reanimated the uh, main rotor assembly because the dimensions wore off a little bit on that. Uh, and one thing you'll notice is that uh, if you look really closely, uh, the collective will actually animate as you uh, move it back and forth. I've still got to tweak that a little bit. I feel like it's probably a l not as extreme as it could be, so I'm going to change the blade pitch a little bit there so it's more noticeable. Uh, but yeah, that's been added in. And another thing I wanted to show is that I've actually gone ahead and animated the weapons. Uh, so I'm going to deploy those right now. So there we go. The lady is uh, showing her teeth for the first time. Those can be obviously retracted at any point in time. Uh, at the moment, they're bound to the spoiler. So uh, if you're using a joystick uh, or a Xbox controller, I think it's A plus up uh, on the uh, D-pad. Uh, I'm probably going to end up changing that though because I have noticed that having it mapped to the spoiler is a little bit problematic in that uh, they tend to auto retract and auto deploy at certain times so I'm going to likely change that uh, key binding to something else but as you can see they're looking uh, quite nice and uh, the next step for those obviously will be to get all the nice weapon uh, effects in there as well so that they can actually be used. Uh, as to whether or not those will be included uh, in the Marketplace version, I really don't know yet. It's going to depend mostly on a Sobo as to whether or not uh, I can get those in for you guys. Uh, but, nonetheless, there they are. Uh, next thing I want to show, so the uh, rotor effects uh, have been uh, remade. Uh, they were practically non-existent in the first version. But I, w I went ahead and added proper blur and uh, and remade the uh, the blurring effects and stuff. So I'm going to start her up so you guys can see that right now. It's going to take a while for the rotors to spool up. Now uh, do keep in mind the sounds are still a work in progress, so uh, the sounds may or may not match up with what you're seeing on screen. Just keep that in mind. I'm going to be uh, remaking those as I can to improve them. While we're waiting for those to spool up, I uh, figured I would just change the time of day to show you guys what she looks like under different lighting conditions. I love the fact that you can actually do this in real time in, uh, in the flight sim. It's really cool. Now there are some lights uh, on the chopper yet. I haven't put them all in, so I'm not going to bother turning them on, but uh, the searchlights and stuff are there. We'll go for a nice uh, evening flight. So there it is. Uh, if you look closely, you can actually see the rotor blur, and if you look at it from the bottom, it's actually black, the same color as the rotors, whereas before it wasn't, it was mismatched. So there they are. And yeah, let's actually uh, go for a flight, shall we? Some people online had commented on the fact that uh, they really wanted to hear the Airwolf theme. So, you know, I figured if, uh, if we're going to make Airwolf, we may as well uh, play a little bit of the theme for those people, right? I mean, I love it as well, but I don't want to abuse it. So here we go. This, uh, this flight is for you guys.
flight model has also received a lot of attention, but it's, uh, it's still early and we can still use some improvements. I'm actually in New York right now, so I'm going to go find the Manhattan Island. So a lot of people have been asking about the supersonic flight. Just want to make sure you guys know that the, that will 100% uh, be a part of release. So right now, uh, I have the flight model basically modeled uh, after a Bell 222, which is what everyone was based off of. So, uh, as I stated in the last video I made, I plan to make sure that the flight model can be turned on and off. So supercopter mode will be something that uh, users will be able to uh, to select or deselect at their leisure. She flies uh, quite nice at the moment. There are a few glitches here and there. By the way, uh, for those of you that are wondering, uh, since the Sobo doesn't really have helicopter flight in yet, we know it's coming soon. Uh, the flight model at the moment is using uh, an amazing program called Airland FS, which was created by a gentleman by the name of Fred. And uh, he's been helping a lot of us uh, tweak our flight models and such, so thank you very much, Fred, for that. Uh, and yeah, so hopefully the flight model that uh, the Sobo brings to the table will be at least comparable to what Fred has created, but uh, at least it is quite nice to have this option. Here we are in our photogrammetry uh, version of New York. And you can see the improved uh, rotor blur effects there for both the tail rotor and the main rotor. I do hope a Sobo can, uh, can improve the uh, photogrammetry that it's using. So if you look closely there, you'll actually see the weapons uh, deploying every now and then. That's actually due to the bug that I was telling you about. Uh, the fact that they're bound to the spoilers. So the, spo the spoilers are basically auto-armed and uh, deploying under certain conditions, so that'll be fixed in a future update. I'll modify uh, what they're set to. So unfortunately in this video I'm not going to be showing any of the interior. Uh, modeling is progressing quite nicely on that, but I don't want to show it until uh, I've got something more substantial to show in that regard. So yeah, as promised, I'm going to be keeping this video uh, short and sweet, but uh, I just wanted to thank the entire community for the support that you guys have been giving me so far on this. And uh, yeah, I definitely want to make it uh, the, uh, the chopper that we're all looking forward to. So I will be trying to post another video uh, probably in a week from now with uh, some of the updates of the stuff I've been adding to it. So yeah. Thank you once again for all the support and see you in the next one.